Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now guys, let's take a look at the gold market. And here we have approximately the same situation as in other assets, uh, including the forex markets, dollar-related currencies, so euro currency, British pound, New Zealand dollar, and so on. So uh, now the question is, uh, this market hasn't quite reached the level that we have specified yesterday and turned to the upside. Now the major question is where to take the position and whether we should take any position or not. Um, guys, in today's comments, uh, most investors come to conclusion that uh, as ADP numbers have very strong relation, 95% correlation approximately with non-farm payrolls data, hardly it will break the tendency. And the non-farm payrolls release uh, probably will show also the data, the numbers that will be a bit worse than expected. Many investors even tell. Uh, that uh, the 240, 250 thousands will not be sufficient to push market higher. So we will, we will need a really big upside uh, surprise some, somewhere about the 260, 270 that we could cancel the former ADP report and they could shift the situation and, and drive markets backward. Uh, but uh, I'd suggest that uh, Hardly it will happen because, as I said, the correlation between the ADP and NF NFP is very significant. That's why most investors uh, start preparation for possible weak data, at least the data that will be match the expectation, and for further upward action as on the gold market, as on the other currency, as, as on other assets. Uh, on the daily chart, guys, the most probable target that we probably should apply is 1225. It's right here. Because this target stands below the daily overbought and it, it, it is reachable in the current week. Second, it, it coincides with the monthly pivot resistance one. This level probably is hardly we should take into consideration because, as you can see, that was strong penetration of this level. And if even it's still valid, the validity of this level is really rather weak, so uh, the strength and the, the, of this level is probably weak when we should not take in consideration. So the next significant resistance will be right here. Daily were bad, so that's probably appro approximately the 50% resistance. And take a look, monthly pivot resistance, that will be really significant. That also will be our target, so A, B, C, bottom 618 resistance. Uh, all that we need to get is the summer retracement down that will let us to take the long position with this uh, possible upward action. Uh, on the hourly chart you could see how we could do this. Here we have this first up, two FIP support levels, 1197 1190. 1197 is also the weekly pivot points market has passed through recently to the upside. Okay. But here, guys, uh, it's forming something that looks like the double repo cell. We would not have uh, the sufficient number of candles here. One, two, three, four, five, six, just seven candles. But if we we'll take this one, this will be eight. Anyway, that's and this is really thrusting action to the upside. This string action probably could be used as the double repo lookalike pattern. This double repo usually leads to the deep retracement. And if market will show retracement somewhere to 11.90, maybe somewhere in this area, we could think about the taking long position. Um, but guys, this is only for those of you who trade releases, data releases on Friday. This will be also the thin market, so this will be the Easter Friday, uh, Good Friday. Uh, so that's probably no, not everybody will be on the markets, and market probably will be thin. But anyway, taking the long position right right here, it's a bit not very attractive because you will have to place very far stop somewhere below these lows, below this weekly pivot support one. That's why we probably one solution that we have here is just to wait for the deeper retracement. Um, and probably right to the 1190 area. In this case, market also could retrace this top, 
horizontal market lies to show the deep retracements and the double repo if it really will be the double repo suggests also the deep retracements probably market will not stop here but will show this action besides this action could happen just on the volatility uh, on during before or or during or before non farm payrolls release that's why chances are not really bad that we could get even 1190 retracement uh, second question guys we will take a look at the forward time frame chart could we treat this action as a uh, background for possible A, B, C top, D retracement down. Well, my thought that hardly we could do this because it's very different action. So this is too fast up reduction for a B, C leg. So if, if it will be vice versa, for example, this one action we could see here to the downside, the black candles. An upper reduction was something of that sort. It's just gradual action with a lot of pullbacks, overlapping candles. In this case, yes, we could say that we probably could get the ABCD. But here, I think not. Because this is more gradual than this one. This more explosive action. That's why this is mostly the thrust, while this is the, the, the impulse action, while this is more as a retracement. The, what is more probable is that, that we could get, for example, the butterfly here. That's approximately the 127, approximately will coincide with the daily ABCD618. This market could show some spike up, slightly spike up, or to complete this butterfly, or something of that sort. That is maybe prob probable. So, if market will show the deep retracement, we could get the uh, right wing and then acceleration up on the bad pair, non farm pair as always. That's very probable. The invalidation point of any upper reaction will be right here. Because if market will drop below these lows, this will be this will erase this possible A, B, C, D patient, or at least will create lower seal point. And in general, this reversal and erasing of this thrust and action on the ADP report will look bearish. That's why probably we should keep an eye on this possible retracement down and possible appearing of the butterfly. That looks at least logical in the current circumstances. So that's our current view on the gold market. Um, shortly speaking, probably the non-farm payroll data will uh, resolve any questions. So let's see what we will get.